Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's talk about mobile hotspots. So all the way back in episode number two of MacMost Now, I talk about USB devices that allow you to connect your MacBook to wireless internet networks, like the ones offered by Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. Now, those USB devices are still available and they're better than ever, but there's some new devices now that are these little boxes that also allow you to connect, but in a different way. So these mobile hotspots connect to the same internet networks, but instead of connecting to your MacBook with a USB connection, they create their own little Wi-Fi network and you can connect to it just like you connect to an airport base station. So the big advantage is all you need to do to connect to this and thus the internet is the ability to connect to any Wi-Fi network. So a device, say like the iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch, could use one of these to connect to the internet. You don't need to have that USB connection and supporting drivers. Better still, you can connect multiple devices. Usually you can connect up to five devices to one mobile hotspot. So if you've got an iPhone, an iPad, and a laptop, you can connect them all. If you're a couple or a family traveling with several different devices, you can all connect using one of these mobile hotspots. Whereas with a USB device, only that one laptop can connect. They offer the same advantages as the USB devices, namely that you don't have to pay for expensive hotel or airport Wi-Fi, and you get a secure connection instead of having to send your data over public or possibly unsecured Wi-Fi connections. So Verizon offers the MiFi 220, which is this little box that connects to the Verizon network and allows you to connect up to five devices on the Wi-Fi network that it creates. Likewise, Sprint offers the OverDrive, which also connects to its network and also connects to a 4G network that's available in some locations now by Sprint. And it also allows you to connect up to five devices to the mini Wi-Fi network it creates. Both of these boxes run about $50 with a plan and both have plans that are about $60 a month for five gigabytes of data. Both devices also have batteries in them, which means that you don't have to have any sort of wall connection to run them, at least for a few hours. So you can carry one of these with you and say also carry your MacBook or iPad, turn them both on. This will connect to the internet and then connect to your MacBook and you have access. You do the same thing with an iPad. So you can actually use the Wi-Fi version of the iPad and connect to the internet even though you don't have a regular Wi-Fi connection near you. You can use one of these. And it's also great as a backup for the iPhone in places where the AT&T internet network isn't available. Now 60 bucks a month is probably too expensive if you're already watching your budget and you already have an iPhone connection. But I find it to be invaluable as a backup to my home internet connection. And also it pays for itself if I just have one short stay at a hotel with an airplane trip. Now, if you already have one of the USB devices, you have a few options. One is that you may be eligible for an upgrade for just the $50 uh, to one of these devices and sticking with the same data plan. Another is to get a device like one made by CradlePoint, which allows you to plug in a USB wireless device into it and it will create the Wi-Fi network itself. So if you're on the road a lot and you use a MacBook or an iPad or you want a backup for your AT&T connection on your iPhone, you may want to check out one of these options. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.